एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर ज्योति बाला आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड दिस सेशन वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट बॉटनी इट्स ओवरव्यू एंड व्हाट आर द करंट ट्रेंड्स हैपनिंग इन बॉटनी एंड व्हाट आर द पोटेंशियल स्कोप इन टर्म्स ऑफ करियर व्हिच यू कैन चूज फॉर एज मेनी ऑफ द रिसर्चर एंड स्टूडेंट ऑफ एन आस्क मे दीज क्वेश्चन लाइक वॉट आर द थिंग्स हैपनिंग इन द बॉटनी वॉट आर द हाई सैलरी स्कोप इन बॉटनी स्पेशली बेसिक बायोलॉजी but in this session we will be mostly focusing about botany so let's get started as you know i myself has started my graduation from delhi university india in the areas of botany and later on i shifted to more biotechnology and did my masters and phd in biotechnology and later on went to us and japan for these kind of biotech and bioinformatics based research so i will be sharing my own experience and while mentoring also what trends i have seen and what is happening in the current era and how technology and data revolution is impacting your basic biology sections like botany so let's start the session here we will be discussing about the overviews the trend and what are the significant research centers and university both in the global sector and in india so let's get started as you know botany is the scientific study of plant and is advancing in the current era with the help of various technology and advancement as the integration of technology with botany has opened new door for research innovation and discovery in this field here are some of the trending sector in the botany that have huge growth and job prospect so here are some of the trending sector in the botany that has huge growth and job prospect without any doubt the bioinformatics especially the omic part has played a significant role so the plant omic based studies is having a significant role as you know bioinformatics and data revolution is happening in the biological sector it is also impacting the botany and the plant based studies so plant omic like plant genomics plant transcriptomic epigenomics playing a significant role in multi omics you have to understand various aspect of the plant because it is a biological system so you can understand it at the molecular level in terms of dna rna its epigenetic mechanisms its overall microbiome metabolome and so on so out of these multi omics the significant one is your plant genomic which is the study of plant genome to identify the dna sequences structure and function one such example is the sequencing of arabidopsis genome the another significant area is your plant biotechnology so here the use of genetic engineering you can utilize and other biotechnology based techniques to improve the plant growth and also to enhance the productivity one such example is developing the transgenic crops with better beneficial property the another area which you can enter is your plant pathology the study of the plant diseases and the management example identifying and managing the plant diseases caused by fungi bacteria viruses and other pathogen you can also work and enter the plant ecology which is the study of the relationship between plant and environment example the understanding of the impact of climate changes on the plant ecosystem the another area which is also significant is your plant physiology plant physiology which is the area to study how plant function and their response to the internal and external stimuli it is very significant area to understand and to enhance the agriculture sector one such example of plant physiology utilization is understanding of the mechanism of photosynthesis and all the another crucial area is plant breeding here your biotechnology plays a significant role the development of new plant variety with desirable traits you can achieve with plant breeding example are developing crops with higher yields and also resistant to pest and other diseases the another important area is your plant conservation the preservation and management of plant biodiversity here you have to deal with the preservation and management of plant diversity one such example is developing the conservation strategies for endangered plant species the another very important area is your plant systematic to study the plant classification and evolution one such example is developing a phylogenetic tree of the plant and to understand its phylogeny and taxonomy you also can work in the plant morphology here you have to study the physical and the structural characteristic of the plant and to understand the different part of the plant and their function 
so as to understand the biological system and the other area which is significant is your plant biochemistry here you have to study the plant chemicals their processes and their role in the plant growth and development one such example is identifying and characterizing plant compound with medicinal properties to enhance the skill in these trending areas of botany student and researcher can participate in research project based on these areas or attend online or on site workshop i myself has conducted more than 100 on site and online workshop you can also participate in the trending areas of seminars based on these things i myself has conducted various uh, seminars on the industrial scope of botany and you can also take courses in the relevant field you can also pursue the advanced degree if you are interested in and you can choose masters and phd in the botany or related areas personally i have very fond interest in medicinal plants and the phytochemical which are having significant role in the biomedical sector so here are some of the high salary jobs which you can opt and can get while doing the botany honors based courses and research you can become plant breeder pathologist ecologist horticulturist soil scientist plant biotechnologist and so on so these are the list of the high salary jobs in botany have a look uh, now let's focus on the best global research center and university if you want to pursue your graduations or masters or higher studies and the botany so if you are interested in global research centers and university then you can either choose from university of california harvard university oxford university of cambridge tokyo and so on these are top 15 universities and centers which provide research and studies based on botany if you are not planning to go abroad and if you want to pursue your botany studies and your higher research in india then you can also choose these university i myself has done my phd from gnu which is one of the prestigious university of india so there also you can do your botany based uh, studies you can also choose isc bangalore the another option is university of delhi my graduation in botany honors was from maitri university delhi and i was the topper there in the botany section the another very significant uh, universities are your bhu amu university of calcutta university of madras and hyderabad and so on and you can also choose iits for that kind of studies if you are more inclined toward the applied biomedical or biotechnological based application and trends in the botany then you can explore these trending areas as you know when i was doing my botany honors i was not very fond of full botany subject but to be very frank i was very interested in the medicinal plant the genetics and the molecular biology part of the botany so herbal medicines and the phytochemical based natural therapeutics is one of the area which i am always inclined to and not only in india but when i went to usa also so in miami i was working on vitaferin a phytochemical which is derived from ashwagandha and in kentucky usa we were working on curcumin which is derived from the turmeric so in both these us based lab we were working on parkinson alzheimer neuro hiv project and copd so there we were characterizing and working on phytochemical and natural therapeutic so you can see how significant these are so you can either choose the herbal medicine as you know plants have been used for medicinal purpose for centuries and we are lucky that we have a rich data and information based on ayurveda in our country so utilizing that rich data is a very significant area which you can choose with and that's the reason if you are working on natural therapeutics herbal medicines or ayurveda in a scientific way this is a trending area so if you are interested you can choose those phytochemicals and you can study on those phytochemicals scientifically and bring those candidate into the market there are set of guideline which we have to follow and we have a separate ministry called as ayush ministry and cds co which has set those guideline so if you want to enter in such areas you have to follow those guideline and you have to perform your scientific experiment based on your herbal medicine ayurveda and natural medicines so many of the modern drugs have been developed from the plant compound as i was giving you my own examples also when we were working on usa the another significant area is nutraceutical as you know the plants are a rich source of vitamins minerals and other nutrient that are essential for human physiology and human health 
So nutraceuticals are the food and the food product that have medicinal benefits. Examples, green tea, garlic and the other supplements. I've already conducted few uh, workshop on nutraceuticals in the past. The another application of botany is in the cosmetics, especially the biocosmetic part. So many plant extracts and oils are used in the cosmetic industry for their moisturizing, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant properties. Example, the use of aloe vera, lavender oil, neem, tulsi, etc. The botany has also having significant impact in the biopharmaceutical. Plants can be used to produce biopharmaceuticals such as antibodies and vaccines, edible vaccines. Example include the production of monoclonal antibodies for cancer treatment in tobacco plant, HPV vaccines in the transgenic Arabidopsis plant. The another applied utilization of botany is in the biofuel section. So plants can also be used to produce biofuels such as ethanol, biodiesels, biopetrol, etc. which can be used for renewable resources. I have already made few videos on bioplastic, biopetrol, green chemistry. So I suggest if you have missed watching that video, you can explore them also. You can use corn, sugarcane, etc. for the production of ethanol and many of the algae is also for the production of biodiesels. In conclusion, I would say that botany is an exciting field with numerous opportunity for research, innovation and discovery. With the integration of technology and advancement in this field, botany is advancing rapidly and the above mentioned sectors are just a few examples of how plant and their products are being used for biomedical and biotechnological purposes. So without any doubt, botany is a field that offers a great job prospect and has potential to make a significant impact on human health and environment. I hope you have liked the session. Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. And if you have any queries, please feel free to reach me. Thank you.